hey guys welcome back to my channel hi my cuties and beauties so today is going to be a quick night routine um i actually have on my mask um it's the humilation charcoal mask by the body shop this is it and i apply it with my little mask stick as you can see i just finished putting it on so i'm gonna head to the bathroom and take a shower but before i go i'm gonna show you guys this is what i usually do when i come home i light my candle for bath and body works this is in the scent black cherry marlot or marlo if the tea is silent i'm not sure but that's it it smells really really good it's very calming so you know you want that nice zen feeling in the nighttime before you go to bed so Okay guys, I just came out of the shower. I'm gonna do brushing up the teeth. Cause I don't need no cavities. Ain't nobody got time for that. So and then we got it. Oh. Oh god, it's electrical. So you guys know I had on the mask, right? <laughs> so after the mask, I usually still cleanse my face. Curving, hydrating, facial cleanser. So I'm going to dab my face with some water. <clears throat> this a little bit a little goes a long way you don't need much because remember you guys just just had on a mask so i'm just taking off anything that the mask did not get it is very lightweight as you can see you can hardly see it but it's on there and guys let me know if you guys have any tips or trick tricks for under eye circles dark circles under the eye because I haven't been sleeping the last couple of weeks. Insomnia has kicked back in. And yeah. I need something to get rid of it. It doesn't look that bad right now, but it's bad. The camera's not giving it any justice, but yeah, it's bad. So let me rinse this off. <laughs> Dry my face with a paper towel. You don't want to use the same towel you shower it because you'll be transferring whatever bacteria you have on your towel to your face. Two years ago, I was on Instagram, right? And I saw this girl. Her name is, I think, Tanya Thomas or Thompson, something like that. So I, you know, I researched her or whatever because I needed somebody to see about my face because i had like i was breaking out and i didn't know what was causing it so when i went to her she asked me like hey what have you been using on your face i said the only thing i use on my face is dove soap to wash and i use either cocoa butter or vaseline to um you know to moisturize it she was like vaseline cocoa butter she said those things are very heavy products i did not know that because growing up if you're caribbean you know when your mother sent you to school she put in a set of Vaseline on your face and a set of powder on your neck. Like plaster in the powder, plaster in the Vaseline. So I didn't take it, take it for nothing. I just figured that is the go-to. I can't be ashy. You ain't gonna see no ashy spots around your nose, around the eye, in any crease or crevices. You know, you're good. All right. So she said, well, first we have to start off with a chemical peel. She said, some people peel, some people don't. It all depends on your skin type and your reaction to it, basically. So the first two days, the, well, when I went to do the chemical peel, I think she charged me like $1.25, I want to say. I was like, okay, this is kind of pricey, but if it's for, you know, a good cause, why not? Because your skin is very important and you got to take care of it. Okay, did the um 
Did the chemical peel. Did the chemical peel and in like two days, she said roughly if, if you're supposed to peel, you're going to peel in two days. Two days came and gone, no peeling. Day number three, I have forgot to get the curvy um, lotion that she advised me to get while I was going through the process. When I went in right eight, I went in the mirror just to pass by and I was like, yo, and I freaked out. I had like these white bumps all over, not even bumps, excuse me, white circles all over like patchy 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 especially around the mouth area some on the cheeks so hear me what the hell going on so i was freaking out so i went to work and i rinsed over my face washed it and i put the um the moisturizer on it did not help nothing like the moisturizer was a waste of time because my skin was peeling like a snake by day number five the skin was just coming off like peeling like how you peel a banana and it just comes skin it was just like that it was crazy but she did say that was normal for some skin types. So she said after that, within two weeks, I'm supposed to come back to her to get a facial. So from what I was told, like people who got facials and stuff like that, usually when they get facials after the facial, you know, they get the towel wrapped around the face. They get the steam and stuff to open up the pores and all of these things. Because what she came down to the conclusion was the reason why I do have little acne marks and dark spots is because I was clogging my pores with the Vaseline slash cocoa butter. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. So during the facial, she extracted all of the pus that was in the black heads and stuff like that, like basically all the dark marks and stuff like that. And then she, at the end, she was like, hey, I'm going to give you some bleaching cream. Now, during this whole facial, I didn't get no steam. I didn't get nothing. All I got was the extraction. She put a rubber a little alcohol, a little something on my face or wherever it was. And that was it. So right then and there, I think I paid around 125 for that as well. Right then and there, I was kind of iffy about her because I was like, I feel like she's not taking the initiative to actually cater to me. You just worried about the pay. And when I looked her up on Instagram, she actually does Mano, Little Mama, and I think Lala's facial. So I guess she has celebrity clientele. So for me, it's like I, I shit off the street. Like I don't get the same treatment and I don't find that's fair. It doesn't matter about your pockets. At the end of the day, you still got your money. You gave me a price and you got paid for it. You understand? And another thing, like I had asked her for a receipt after this whole ordeal. And she was like, oh, I don't have nothing to give you a receipt on and this and that. I'm like, how you don't have nothing to give me a receipt on? That's weird to me. She was like, oh, you could just um send me. um No, she said she could write it. She could send me an email about it or whatever. I said, okay, cool. Because it's still in all email. is still a form of payment. That's my proof that I paid you. You understand? So just in case something goes wrong with my face or, you know, something you use on me doesn't agree with me, then I can always say, well, hey, I went to you. And that would be my proof to show that I came to you. So long story short, she never gave me the receipt. I begged for it. Not begged, but, you know. I, so long story short, I was like, you know, <clears throat> um, okay, she never gave it to me. I asked her for the receipt about more than three times and leaving the facial she's like oh here here's some bleaching cream so she gave me like a tube so i was like what is it she's like this is the bleaching cream because after the facial you you know um after the chemical peel your skin is gonna get lighter but you need the bleaching cream to also like lighten up the dark spots that you have so i said okay cool no problem so i looked at the name and it was like some african name on it and i was like but why are you giving me somebody else's prescription so i said to her i was like this is somebody else's prescription i think you got me mistaken she was like oh no that's just the name on it first and foremost you can't give me nothing with somebody else's name on it because for me that's a big red flag that means you're either doing something illegal or you're trying to do a scheme either which way i'm for it so I told her, no, I don't have the money right now. I'll come back, blase, blase. So I told her, when she get more shipment, just let me know. So obviously, I'm guessing if you're going to get more shipment, common sense would tell you, do not go and put somebody else's name on it. Like, just make the mixture over again, whatever bleaching mixture it is, and then you could give me that. So she was like, okay. She called me and she said, hey, it's ready. Go come back to, um, to the suite. When I get inside, she was like, here's the bottle. I was like, yeah. So here's your forty dollars. She's like, this is not forty dollars. I said, so how much is it? She was like, um, one eighty or two hundred. I said, whoa, how is it that it's so much? And the one you was giving me two weeks ago was forty dollars. So how it went up so high? She was like, oh, well, this is the different product, and it has retina in it, and this and that, whatever, whatever. And I said, but it's not what I asked you for. I said, I thought you was calling me down for the same 
product that you said you was gonna mix and mix me which is a regular bleaching cream to just lighten up the spots she's like oh no i can't take nothing less than i think she told me 180 or 160 so i had 160 on me but i was in two minds i was like should i pay this lady or should i just go back downstairs and act like i'm gonna get more money and just head back on the train and go home because i literally rushed there from work so i was like you know what um i'm gonna pay her but this is gonna be the last encounter i have with her i'm not gonna refer nobody to her i'm not going to promote her i'm not gonna get give her no good reviews or anything like that because i didn't find that that was professional because it's like why are you trying to get from me or why are you trying to rob me basically that's how i felt like she was doing me so i'm like at the end of the day you trying to rob somebody is not going to make your plate any bigger because you take from me somebody's going to take from you you understand what i mean so i didn't really like that aspect of it so um I'm basically going to try to find another estheticianist that can just help me with the dark spots. Like, I do my mask, as you can see. I do my cleansing. I do my moisturizing. You know, I do... Just, that's all I do. I do a little to minimum because I don't want to put too much products on my face for it to clog again. So, yes, no more Vaseline and no more cocoa butter. All right? Don't come for me. So, that was basically my story time. So, um, I use the Cetaphil um hydrating lotion and I just put a little dab and I just dab it in because I'm going to sleep I'm not going outside and you don't need that much a little goes a long way as you can see it's a big tube I had it for a while and I still have quite a lot in it so I just do that Sometimes I do I put the I will I will wipe down with the toner first and then put this but I don't feel like doing that <clears throat> and the toner that I use is the witch hazel toner in the I think this is the cu cucumber scent. So it's about that time to put on my onesie. So This is my onesie, guys. <clears throat> As you can see, this is my onesie. Okay, so onesie is on. Bonnet has to come, well, shower cap has to come off. And where's my bonnet? And the head tie has to go on. I don't even know how I want to wrap it. Probably like this. I usually wear a bonnet to sleep, but listen, I'm tired and I can't find it right now. And I'm not digging up nothing. Even though I think I have two other ones in the drawer, but I just don't have the energy right now to do it. Okay? So, head tie it is. Head tie it is. Okay? And that's my night routine, so thanks for tuning in. Don't be scared to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you like. And please, turn on your notification bell so you know when your girl is uploading another video. Okay? Bye, my cuties and beauties. Mwah. Oh, and let's see if you guys can see me. And then I go and I lay down. Watch a little YouTube till I fall asleep, so...